Okay, another worksheet on civil service exam. So, subtracting dissimilar fractions. So, punta muna tayo dito. Ayan. Subtracting dissimilar fractions. Uh, letter B na ito. So, meron na, na tayong naunang worksheet dito, 12A. Yun ay pang dalawahan. So, itong letter B natin, uh, subtracting dissimilar fractions na 3 or more. Okay? So, same process lang ito. Uh, pero hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung butterfly kasi nga tatluhan. Okay? So, Post nyo muna and try to answer itong 10 items na ito. Okay, and then compare nyo dun sa sagot ko. Okay, so let's start. Number 1, so we have 7 over 8 minus 1 fourths minus 2 tenths. So ang first step natin, pwedeng uh, check muna natin yung mga fractions kung merong pwedeng i-lowest term. So itong 2 over 10, pwedeng i-lowest term ito, divide natin pareha sa 2. Okay, para ma-lowest term siya. So just copy lang yung 7 over 8 and then 1 fourth. So lowest term, 2 over 10, magiging na siyang 1 over 5. Okay? So ngayon, i-convert natin siya sa similar fractions. Kung mapapansin nyo, itong 4 ay factor siya na itong 8. So therefore, ang LCD nito ay i-multiply lang natin itong 8 times 5. Common kasi itong 4 dito sa 8. Okay? So 8 times 5, so that is 40. So therefore, ang LCD natin ay 40. I-convert natin lahat sa denominator na 40 para maging similar. Okay? So, convert, co compute natin yung numerator. So, divide lang natin ito, itong 40 dito sa 8. Sa una, sa 8. Itong pangalawa naman, sa 4. And then, itong pangatlo ay sa 5. Then, yung, pra yung quotient, i-multiply sa numerator. 40 divided by 8, that, that is 5. So, times 7, so that is 35. And then, 40 divided by 4, that is 10. Multiply yung numerator, so that is 10. And then, 40 divided by 5, that is 8. Times the numerator na 1, so 8 pa rin siya. Then subtract lang natin yung uh, subtract lang ang numerator 35 minus 10 so that's equal to 25 and then subtract ulit natin 25 minus 8 that is 17. So wala nang lowest term dahil 17 is a prime number ito na yung final answer. Okay? So next uh number 2 18 over 20 minus 4 over 15 minus 1 third i-check muna kung meron pwedeng i-lowest term ang 18 over 20 pwedeng i-lowest term i-divide parehas sa 2. So, pag dinivide pareha sa 2, so that is equal to 9 over 10. So, minus 4 over 15 minus 1 third. So, to get the LCD, pag ganito, uh, divisible kasi itong 15, eh, pwedeng i-divide. May common yung 10 at 15, tapos itong 3, pwedeng i-divide yung 15. So, pag ganito, para mabilis, kunin lang natin yung multiples na itong 15. Yung 15, hindi divisible yung 10, yung 3 pwede. So, yung susunod sa 15 ay 30. Okay, so yun na agad ang LCD natin yung 30 kasi divisible na yun sa 10. Okay? So therefore, i-convert natin sa denominator na 30. Okay? So gawin natin 30 lahat ang denominators natin. I-divide natin dito sa 10, dito sa pangalawa ay 15, and then sa last ay divide sa 3. So 30 divided by 10, that is equal to 3. Multiply the numerator 3 times 9, 27. 30 divided by 15, that is 2, times the numerator, times 4, so that is 8, and then last 30 divided by 3, that is 10, times the numerator 1, so we have 10. So subtract lang natin, 27 minus 8, that is equal to 19, and then 19 minus 10, that is equal to 9 over nine over 30, and then check natin kung pwedeng ilawas term, parehas divisible by 3. So divide both by 3, the final answer is 9 divided by 3 is 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay? So next number, 2 fifths minus 1 fourth minus 2 thirds. So ang LCD natin dito, walang common, ano? Walang common sa 5, 4, at 3. So well, relatively prime sila, walang common factor. So ibig sabihin, ang LCD natin ay i-multiply lang ito. 5 times 4 is 20 times 3, we have 60. Okay? So, therefore, i-convert lang natin sa denominator na 60. Okay? So, divide lang natin isa-isa. 60 divided by 5. Sumunod sa 4 naman. And then last sa 3. Okay. So, 60 divided by 5, that is equal to 12. Times 2, that is 24. 60 divided by 4, that is 15. Times 1, 15 pa rin. 60 divided by 3, that is equal to 20. Times 2, we have 40. So, negative ang magiging sagot dito. So, subtract lang natin. 24 minus 15, that is equal to 9. 
9 minus 40, so that is equal to negative 31. Okay? So yung negative, pwede ilagay natin dito sa gitna. Pwede sa taas. Okay lang kahit saan nilagay. So ito yung final answer, negative 31 over 60, wala nang lowest term. Okay, so next, 8 over 10 minus 2 over 11 minus 1 fifths. Pwede yung lowest term ang 8 over 10, i-divide parehas sa 2. I-divide parehas sa 2, so we have 4 fifths minus 2 over 11 minus 1 fifths. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, similar pala ito. 4 fifths minus 1 fifths. So i-evaluate na muna natin yon. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So that is 3 over 3 fifths. 4 minus 1 lang. And then minus 2 over 11. Okay, so since dalawahan lang, i-apply naman natin yung butterfly. Pag dalawahan, pwede ang butterfly. So cross multiply lang. Ayan. Cross multiply and then multiply din ito. So therefore, the answer will be 3 times 11. So we have 33. Minus 5 times 2, that is 10. Over the product of denominator, 5 times 11, 55. So the final answer is 33 minus 10. We have 23 over 55. Walang common factors dahil ang 23 ay prime number. E yan ay final answer. Okay, so next set, number 5 to 7. Okay, so 5 to 7. So we have 24 over 27. Minus 1 third, minus 2 over 9. So another technique dito, itong kapag tiningnan natin yung malaking number 27, itong 3 tsaka itong 9 divisible or factor siya nitong 27 or 27 divisible by 3 and 9. So para mas madali, i-convert na lang natin itong itong uh, 3 tsaka 9, gawin natin 27. So saan i multiply itong 3 para maging 27? So itong another technique, multiply lang natin sa 9 parehas. Para maging 3, 3 times 9, 27 na siya. Itong 9 naman, gawin natin 27, i-multiply natin sa 3, ang numerator at denominator. So therefore, 27 na lahat ang kanilang denominator. Copyahin lang natin itong 24 over 27, minus 1 times 9, that is 9. So itong denominator, 27 na yan. Minus 2 times 3 is 6, over 9 times 3, 27. Okay? So kap ginagamit ito kapag yung... Uh, yung dalawang uh, ayan, denominator ay pwedeng makonvert dito sa di, doon sa isang denominator natin. So ayan yung mas madaling technique. Okay? So subtract lang natin 24 minus 9. So 24 minus 9 that is equal to 15. So 15 minus 6 that is equal to 9. So 9 over 27 pwede natin itong uh, ma lowest term 9 over 27, i-divide parehas sa 9. So, final answer natin, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So, one-third ang final answer dito. Okay? So, next number, 15 over 16 minus 1 half minus 3, 8. So, kagaya nung kanina, pag chinek natin yung mga denominators natin, yung 16, divisible parehas sa 2 at sa 8. So, dahil divisible parehas yan sa 2 at 8, gawin na lang natin uh, 16 etong 2 and 8 by multiplying Itong 1 half, i-multiply natin parehas sa 8. Yan, multiply parehas sa 8. Ito naman 3 over 8, i-multiply parehas sa, sa 2. So, multiply parehas sa 2. Okay? So, therefore, we now have 15 over 16 minus multiply parehas sa 8. So, we have 8 over 16 minus multiply parehas sa 2. So, we have 6 over 16. So, lahat na sila 16. So, subtract na lang natin. Kopyahin ang denominator na 16. 15 minus 8, that is equal to 7. And then 7 minus 6, that is equal to 1. So this is the final answer, 1 over 16. So next number, so pwedeng i-lowest term itong 18 over 20. So 18 over 20, divide natin pareha sa 2. So divide pareha sa 2, so that will become 9 over 10. Minus 1 half, minus 1 over 15, minus 1 over 30. Kagaya nung kanina. Lahat sila divisible by 30. Okay? So divisible lahat by 30. So ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-convert lahat yan sa denominator na 30. So i-convert lahat sa denominator na 30. So saan minultiply itong 10 para maging 30 siya? So times 3. So times 3 parehas. Itong 1 half para maging 30 times 15. Okay? So times 15 parehas. Ang 15 para maging 30 ay times 2. Okay, so isolve lang natin yung numerator. Automatic, 30 na lahat yung denominator. 9 times 3, we have 27. 1 times 15 is 15. 1 times 2, so we have 2. Kopyahin lang natin itong 1. 
So subtract isa isa 27 minus 15 that is 12. 12 minus 2 that is 10 and then finally 10 minus 1 that is 9 over 30 na pwede pang malowas term i-divide parehas sa 3. So final answer is 3 over 10. Okay? So last set number 8 to 10. Okay, so 5 over 6 minus 1 half minus 1 fifth. So, check nyo lang yung denominators. etong 2, ignore na natin yung 2 kasi di, uh, ang 6 may factor na 2. So, ang magiging LCD natin nito, i-multiply lang natin yung 6 tsaka 5. Okay? So, 6 at 5. 6 times 5, 30. So, i-convert natin lahat sa denominator na 30. So, convert lahat sa denominator na 30. So, saan natin i-multiply para ma-convert sa denominator na 30? Times 5 lang yan. Okay? So, times 5 ito. 1 half. So, itong 2, multiply natin sa 15. Ganon din ang numerator. And then 5 para maging 30, that is times 6. Okay? So, so the numerator, 5 times 5, we have 25. Okay, 1 times 15, 15 lang yan. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract 25 minus 15, that is 10. 10 minus 6, that is equal to 4 over 30 na pwedeng ma-lowest term. I-divide parehas sa 2. So pag dinivide parehas sa 2, final answer is 2 over 30 divided by 2. We have 15. So 2 over 15. Okay, so next. 28, 14, 7, at 4. So parang lahat sila divisible sa 20. Divisible itong 28. Divisible lahat sa 14, 7, at 4. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, i-multiply na lang natin itong mga, itong tatlong fractions para maging 28. Okay? So, itong 14 saan i-multiply? Multiply parehas sa 2 para maging 28 na siya. Yung 7 saan i-multiply para maging 28? Multiply parehas sa 4. Okay? And then, itong 4 saan i-multiply para maging 28? So, multiply parehas sa 7. Okay? So, automatic ang lahat ng denominators natin, 28. So, pag-isahin ko na. So, just solve the numerator. So, kopyahin lang ito. Walang multiply sa 27. Minus 3 times 2, that is 6. Minus, uh, we have 2 times 4, that is 8. And then, minus 1 times 7, we have 7. So, subtract lang natin. Isa-isa. 27 minus 6, so that is equal to 21. 21 minus 8, that is equal to 13. 13 minus 7, that is equal to 6. Pwede pang i-lowest term 6 and 28, divide, divide both by 2. Okay? So, divide both by 2, final answer, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So, 3 over 14. Okay? Okay, so check nga ulit natin. 6, ang 6, 8, 7, so that is 21. Okay, sakto. Okay, so last number, 13 over 15 minus 3 over 30 minus 1 half. So, i-check lagi yung pinakamalaking number. Okay, 30. Yung 15 at 2, pwede natin gawing 30. Kasi 15 times 2, 30 siya. So, ibig sabihin, itong 15, i-multiply lang sa 2. So, times 2 parehas. Ang 1 half naman, gawin natin times 15 parehas. Times 15. So, magiging na siyang, uh, magiging ng 30 lahat ng ating denominator. Okay? So, copy lang natin. Yan, i-over ko na lahat sa 30. So, 13 times 2, so we have 26. Minus, itong 3, copy lang. Dahil 30 na yung denominator niya, minus 1 times 15, we have 15. So, 26 minus uh, 3, that is equal to 23 minus 15, that is equal to 23 minus 15, that is 8 over, 8 over 30. Na pwede nating uh, i-lowest term. Or dito pala, itong 3 over 30, pwede na agad ma-simplify ito. No? So, anyway, same answer lang din nakakalabasan dito. Pag dinivide natin parehas sa divide parehas sa 2. So magiging final answer natin 8 divided by 2 is 4 over 30 divided by 2 15. So 4 over 15 ang magiging final answer natin dito. Okay, so that's it. So thank you for watching. I hope nagustuhan niyo explanation ko para dito sa subtracting dissimilar fractions kapag 3 or more yung fractions natin. So kung may math question po kayo ay comment niyo lang sa akin channel or i-PM niyo sa akin uh, messenger RJ Enseñado. So good luck sa lahat na nagre-review para sa civil service exam. Bye-bye and God bless.